Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we are looking at some exam papers. In our previous video we looked at how we can create an exam paper with the layout that we want it to look like using tables. Now you might not want to use tables so I'm going to show you another technique that you can use to get this particular type of layout um, using tabs. Now tabs are quite special to use um, they can be quite uh, difficult to manipulate in that so I'm going to try to give you all the tools that you can have to be able to manipulate the tabs in order for you to have the layout that you want. So I'm going to try to recreate what this looks like. So obviously in an exam situation we would probably take this table and give it as no borders so it looks like that. So how can I recreate this type of look but using um, not tables but we're going to use tabs. So so I'm going to do it over here. Now the first couple things to take note of. First I would suggest having your ruler very visible to go get that. If it's not visible you can click on view and you can click on the ruler little checkbox and that way you'll be able to see your ruler. And then over here you need to select the area that you want to be able to set the tabs for. So like if we, wherever you select, so if we select that particular area, the tabs will be set for that particular space. And if we press enter, obviously in that space, it'll copy the, that format into the other lines that we press enter to. Um, or that if we add any lines to it, that'll, that'll add the, the formatting to it. So let's, I'm selecting this space over here and that's where I'm going to set the tab. So what the lots of ways of setting tabs. Um, the first thing is I'm going to, I want my text to start there. I'm going to have the paragraph. I'm going to have a hanging indent and I want the hanging indent to be somewhere over here. That's where we want the text after the, the, the bullets or after our numbering to be. So somewhere over there. So let's say 1.5. Let's say 1.5. I'm going to put a hanging indent in my click OK. And you see there's the hanging indent over there. You can manually move it around as well if you want. Obviously this is only being affected for the area that we've selected. So that's the one thing. And I want my text to go up until this particular point. You'll see there. So I'm actually, my right indent, I'm going to move up until 15 or maybe just inside 15. So let's say we want all the text to be between those particular points. We don't want it to go beyond this point because we don't want text to go above our mark allocations. So that's the first thing I'm doing is setting those particular parameters. Then I want to set the tabs. Now you can do the tabs in multiple ways. Um, you can set them use if I go to the paragraph and I click here on tabs, you can actually set a particular number and the type of tab you want. If you want it aligned to the left or centered or to the right. I'm going to be using mainly left and, and right alignment tabs. So the first thing is I want a tab somewhere over here. Do you see there, there, there's my tab. So somewhere around about there. So around about the one centimeter mark. So one centimeter, it's going to be a left tab. I'm going to set it. So that's set for that particular area. Then I'm going to want a tab for the mark allocation over here, but I want it aligned on the right hand side, probably at 16. So I'm going to type in 16 over here and I'm saying this is a right tab. I'm going to set it. And then I want another right tab somewhere over here by 17, which I'm actually going to make it 17.25. And that is also going to be a right tab. And I'm going to set that. So there are my three tabs. I'm going to have a left tab over here. And I'm going to have a couple of right tabs over there. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that those have appeared now over there. So if you want to adjust them, you can obviously click on them and move them around to where you want them to be. Maybe you want to move that up a little bit. You can do that. Maybe you can drag that. Oh, be careful. Like if you do that, it does move it automatically to that particular point, which is a bit annoying. So what I do to go back to that, I want to get rid of that one there and I'm not struggling to select it. You can always just double click on the tabs as well and you'll get to the tab place. So that, that one there by just under 50. I want to actually clear that point. I want to get rid of it. I want to go reset that one at 16. So I'm going to type 16 and that's a right tab and set it. And so now we've got it back. And so there we go. One, I think I'm happy. So that's the layout. So let's try to recreate this. So we're going to have a one. You'll notice that those have all be, they all stay in there for this particular area of text that we selected. If I click somewhere else below that, you see that those tabs are gone now because we didn't apply it to that particular line. But let's say, let's say we go one. I'm going to press tab and type in consider the following text and then I'm actually just going to, to save time, I'm just going to copy that text 
and over here we're going to press tab so we at the right place so i'm just going to paste it as text i don't want to copy any formatting that's also another little tip there so that we don't mess up we don't copy the tabs of whatever we are copying from and then over here we want to press tab to go to this particular point over there press tab so we want a 1.1 press tab it's going to go to the, the indent over there and say explain the humor in the following statement see how it's exactly the same there's a nice little ad. now i'm going to press tab again and it takes me to this area now it looks like it's gone all the way to the right hand side but if i type in a three with the brackets you see it, it lines it to the right and then we want nothing else i'm going to press enter and move on like that and so you can go slowly but surely and reconstruct your paper by doing this is the, so i'm going to go and copy that so long let me just give you a couple of seconds so i went to populate the rest of the question i'm just going to show you here for a little bit yeah so for reasons two reasons for your if i type in your do you see how it goes to the next line exactly where i want it to be uh, for your answer give examples for each reason so there's my question obviously we made our alignment just a little bit into that's why that is on a new line but you get the idea it's the same thing and i can press tab there and type in this is the four mark question and then with the last question i do exactly the same thing but when i get to the last little bit i press tab one more time and i get to this tab for the total where i can go square bracket 10 square bracket so there we go so there we've got a nice little layout for your question it looks exactly the same or closer to exactly the same as that question using tables but we use tabs now if you've got a question so like i've got typed i've started typing up some random text which i want for the next question and obviously those tabs haven't been applied so what you can do is you can select the text area and click on the format painter and then you just drag it over this particular area and that should now, if I click over here, you see all of that formatting for the tabs is now for this particular question. So it lines it up a lot nicer for me. And so everything's already pretty much done by, by doing that. So if you are writing a question, and you haven't set the tabs, but you've done it in a particular area, you can select that area. You can use the format painter that copies what it's going to look like, including the tab layout. Once you click on it and then you just drag it over the necessary areas for your particular question so there we go so that's what you can do using tabs if you want to learn a little bit more about tabs there'll be a link to a video above where you can learn all about tabs that can teach you some more skills about it but there we go so that's how i would set papers using tabs for many other teacher tips go to our youtube channel click on that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment and click on the video tab and you can see all the different videos that we've made in the past that can help you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way